Hey Flight Deck, this is Coach Tanner with your workouts for this week. Uh, first I want to go over an overview, um, then talk about some other things before we get started with the workout. So you can just sit down and watch for now. Um, but your workouts this week, we're going to do arms today, legs tomorrow, uh, core on Wednesday, and then we're going to repeat and do arms on Thursday, legs on Friday, and then we're going to have a cardio and conditioning on Saturday. Um, and this week, we really want to focus on technique, making sure your uh, repetitions and your exercises are done with really good technique and form. Um, that's really important to make sure that you're working the muscles that you're supposed to work, and also that you're not putting any strain or tension in a place that shouldn't be tensioned. Um, a big one, a big example of that would be squats. If you do your squat and your knees in front of your toes, then you're putting all that tension from that squat in your patellar tendon, which is right here and that is not designed to take that much stress. So that's why we're gonna focus on technique this week to make sure that you guys aren't getting injured and we're making sure we're getting good quality reps. Uh, so with that, I'm gonna kind of start. We're gonna go through the exercises for today. Uh, I'm gonna go through some modifications for any of the preschool age or um, ways to make it challenging for the competitive. And then once we go through all the technique, then we'll jump into the workout and we can jump in. So you can sit back and watch and uh, learn the technique for all these. The first one is push-ups. Push-ups are pretty simple. You're gonna come down to the ground. You want your wrist to be about your shoulder height or right under your shoulders. Uh, modifications for preschoolers or kid age, you can drop your knees down to the ground. That'll make it a little uh, easier for you. Um, and then you're just gonna drop your chest down to the ground. If you have a carpet or something under, you can drop your chest all the way to touch to the ground and then press up. Pretty simple. Um, with those, make sure those elbows are going out. If they go in like this, that's working your triceps instead of your biceps and chest, which we're trying to target. Um, our next exercise is going to be dips. So you're gonna want a chair or a couch, um, something that's gonna be below your hip height. You're gonna put your hands facing backwards, take a step out, and then you're gonna drop down and press back up. You want those elbows to go straight back. You don't want them to go wide. That's gonna put some tension in your shoulder. So keeping that chest nice and tall, dropping those elbows back and pressing up. Um, there's no modifications for that one. If you need to, you can scoot your feet closer and that'll make it a little easier for you. If you want more challenging, you can step those feet out a little more. Our next exercise is gonna be planks. Again, pretty simple. You're gonna put your elbows on the ground, step back. You want a straight line between your shoulder, your hip, and your knee. If your hips are up here, you're not working your core. If your hips are down, you're arching your back, which can put some strain and can be painful after a while. Um, the next is going to be handstand push-ups. You're gonna want your chair or something like that. Um, this is just gonna be a half handstand push-up. So kind of like our handstand drills we did, you're gonna put your feet up. Get those hips up, and then you're gonna drop down and up, touching your head to the ground and back up. This is gonna work more of your back muscles up here, which will help in your handstands and tumbling. The last one we have is your inchworms. So inchworms, you're gonna walk down, walk your hands all the way out, and then walk them all the way back up and back up. Try not to use your core, try to uh, make sure you're using your arms through this to hold your weight all the way out and press that weight all the way back up. So those are your exercises for today. So we'll get started. Okay, flight deck, we're gonna start with a warm up. So we're gonna start with 20 jumping jacks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next, we're gonna do 20 high knees. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now butt kicks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Next, we're going to go on to ski jumps. So you're going to have right foot in front, left foot in back, 
and hands opposite. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next we're gonna do toy soldiers. So right hand to left foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, we're gonna start with push ups. So preschoolers, I want you to do eight. School age, I want you to do 10. And competitive teams, I want you to do 12. So we'll get started. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, this is tricep dips. Same numbers, preschools you're going to do 8, school age you're going to do 10, and competitive teams you're going to do 12. So step out, hands on the couch or a chair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, next is planks. I'll let you guys know when to drop. So preschool, you're gonna drop at 30 seconds. School age, you're gonna drop at 45. And competitive teams, you're gonna drop at a minute. So here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Okay, preschool, you're halfway there. We're at 20. Okay, preschool, you can drop. Ready, school age. School age can drop now. And keep it up, competitive teams. 10 seconds left. Five, three, two, one, done. Good job, guys. Okay, next we're doing handstand push ups. Preschoolers, I want you to do four. Uh, school age, I want you to do six. And competitive teams, I want you to get to eight. So get your hands on the ground. Feet up, try and walk your hands underneath your hips. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Okay, next up is inchworms. Preschoolers, I want you to do eight. School age, I want you to do 10. And competitive teams, I want you to do 12. So take your hands down, walk them out. Walk it back in. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. Eleven, and twelve. Good job. Okay, we're going to start with push-ups. So preschoolers, I want you to do eight. School age, I want you to do ten. And competitive teams, I want you to do twelve. So we'll get started. 
Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Okay, next is tricep dips. Same numbers, preschools, you're gonna do eight. School age, you're gonna do 10. And competitive teams, you're gonna do 12. So step out, hands on the couch or a chair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And next is planks. I'll let you guys know when to drop. So preschool, you're gonna drop at 30 seconds. School age, you're gonna drop at 45. And competitive teams, you're gonna drop at a minute. So here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Okay, preschool, you're halfway there. We're at 20. Okay, preschool, you can drop. Ready, school age. School edge can drop now. And keep it up, competitive teams. 10 seconds left. Five, three, two, one, done. Good job, guys. Okay, next we're doing handstand push ups. Preschoolers, I want you to do four. Uh, school age, I want you to do six. And competitive teams, I want you to get to eight. So get your hands on the ground, feet up, try and walk your hands underneath your hips. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Okay, time for inchworms. Again, preschool, you're doing eight. School age, you're doing 10. And Bad teams are doing 12. We'll start. One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Okay, that was our second time through. So preschool and school age, you guys are done. Unless you want to join us for that third round. Competitive teams, we got one more round to go. Okay, we're gonna start with push-ups. So preschoolers, I want you to do eight. School age, I want you to do ten. And competitive teams, I want you to do twelve. So we'll get started. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Okay, next is tricep dips. Same numbers, preschools, you're going to do eight. School age, you're going to do ten. And competitive teams, you're going to do twelve. So step out, hands on the couch or a chair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, next is planks. I'll let you guys know when to drop. So preschool, you're going to drop at 30 seconds. School age, you're going to drop at 45. And competitive teams, you're going to drop at a minute. So here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Okay, preschool, you're halfway there. We're at 20. Okay, preschool, you can drop. Ready, school age. School age can drop now. And keep it up, competitive teams. 10 seconds left. Five, three, two, one, done. Good job, guys. Okay, next we're doing handstand push-ups. Preschoolers, I want you to do four. Uh, school age, I want you to do six. And competitive teams, I want you to get to eight. So get your hands on the ground. Speed up, try and walk your hands underneath your hips. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Good job, guys. Okay, time for inchworms one last time. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we're done. Good work. Next, we're going to go on to stretching. Time for stretching. We'll start with neck rolls for each direction. So, one. Two, three, then other direction. One, two, three. From there, we're going to go to a forward fold, so standing nice and tall. Hands come up, and we fold forward. Make sure you fold at your hips, you're not arching your back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Come up. We're going to step that right foot forward. Hips and shoulders both square to the front. Toes face the front. And then hinge at those hips. Isolating that right hamstring. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can come up. Switch sides, left foot. Again, hips and shoulders square to the front, toes face the front. And lean forward into that right left leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Stand up. Next, we're going to do that quad stretch. So you take that right hand to that right ankle. You try to get those knees next to each other and then pull that heel up to your glute. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12. Other side, left hand to left ankle, knees, and then pull in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, we're gonna have that right arm out, palm faces up, hold it up, and then over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, other arm, palm faces up, fold, and then over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Next, we'll go across the chest. We'll hold above the elbow, not here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now let's see if you can see this one from where you're at. Yep, okay, so we're gonna lay on our belly, hands come next to our shoulders, lift and arch our back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Next is that chest stretch, so we're gonna straighten our left leg out, our right arm comes up, and then we're gonna lift our right shoulder and lower our left shoulder to stretch out our chest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll switch it, right arm goes out, left arm comes in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Next, you can curl your toes, hands next to your shoulders, lift the hips, drop your heels towards the ground, press your hands forward and fold in half. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Next, you can come to your hands and knees. We're going to take our hands back. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then fold our hands over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Next, we can sit on our butts. Feet go out. Right knee comes up. Right hand goes back. Left elbow can come over that right knee. We'll press into that spinal twist. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll switch to the other side. So that left knee comes up, left hand comes back, right arm goes over. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And last, we're going to do those split stretches. You guys can see how bad my splits are. So, we're going to start with that kneeling position, drive those hips forward. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Straighten that leg long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. And then slide into your splits. <laughs> nice tall chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12. Okay, we'll go to the other side. So left knee up, drive the hips forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Straighten that leg and fold forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we're going to do our splits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job today, guys.